Yes, sir. We're playing Big Chungus. Yep. Yep, that's what it is. That's what we're playing. It says Big Chungus right there. Yep. Pretty excited to play Big Chungus. Yep, play. Super City. The futuristic metropolitan home of, well, everything. everything. I have not played this game ever, by the way. I just, I'm just reading it, that's what it was. A um. bustling hub of culture, commerce, and class warfare. Sitting pretty at the top of the food chain is your classic evil mega, mega corporation. Origin. Fun Fun Girl, oh, girl. The, man. The, the Man. The Man. A bunch of soulless leeches. Okay, this is actually yuck. getting a lot annoying. I'm gonna look like someone really dumb. Sweet. That's weird, that's weird, okay. Um, what about the head? Cause my head looks like crap, looks weird. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Well, well. Would you look at what the cat dragged in? That's got it. What do you any game you hit with the piss off? Brown, what's your br Yes. Plug, it's your uncle, Gilly. All right, enough small talk. Let's get you moving. First up, give me a dodge roll. Dodge roll. Nice. A great way to avoid trouble, but... It's good to feel the wind in your hair, huh? Turns out, that's not wind at all. Just a simple line of code that makes you... Okay, I can tell you're bored, so let's kick it up a notch. Well, Make I don't sure have hair. The is fully calibrated. Now, onto the fun stuff. Try double jumping. You're a natural. This last one's a little tricky. Get some speed and drop at the last second to make it through the gap. Oh, I love a good balance slide. Not necessarily exclusive to arcade again. Fun fact, the first time I implemented a power slide into one of my games was in Space Groundhogs 4, Revenge of Vextronic. This okay. game isn't free, it's free for PlayStation Plus though. Travel wire straight ahead. The fastest way from point A still intact. Right, this is the first location. But where did I put your weapons? Practice smashing up those crates while I try to sort my... Ah, there she is. A milligrade. See those sapper bots? Ah. Don't forget to reload. Shooting from the hip can be useful, but if you want a little more precision, try aiming down some. It's not bumping those balloon heads down the hall. I've got another surprise. those sapper bots, you gained enough energy to use your surge gauntlet. You can use this to tackle Refill your 
surge energy and take another shot. Something up ahead for you in a chest. That's the one. Open her up. That's a hack. If you want to know more about the specific hack you just picked up, you can check it out. That travel wire should take you to the exit platform where I can load you out. Hang on a second. Enemies incoming? This isn't part of the tutorial. The FFC really is everywhere. Do me a favor, will you? Close Being that data okay. breach and hold them off while I triangulate the vulnerability in the code. in there you're tough like your uncle now that you've tried it out recruitment begins take a look around the arcade you'll find several of super city's elite gaming gangs instead of throwing you into the deep end with all of them go find label she leads the 98 and i want you know that's what he not what i've got nice little sport you lost well you found her not sure how my killer outfit didn't tip you off what do you want with my gang especially no that hits your self and night head oh me if you pop in there and snatch us something fly 
Maybe the flyest gang in Super City uh, can give you what you want. Word. 98 appreciates you scouting ahead. And no offense. Guns out of infinite well, MR. Okay to get it. Let me show you the ropes in adventure mode. Here you'll battle the stages to increase your sim score. Play it smart. You'll earn a high sim score oh. and top spot on the leaderboards. Your sim score increases, so will your boss leader. A full boss leader and a corrupted portal will start to crawl. Destroy one and interact with it into a boss fight. Defeat that boss. Be rewarded with loot and a bump in your sim score. Plus four tickets that you can count. If you manage to defeat all four bosses in a single run, you will be awarded Gilly's friendship for life. Oh, and a special collector. Oh, Gilly's the combo meter. Performing various actions like destroying enemies. Try to keep the multiplier high by stringing together attacks and actions. Of my videos and just talking the whole time. What the? What the hell?
I'm gonna do a trick shot. Oh, that was, ah, oh, I didn't land it. I'm gonna go, I landed that one. Let me get up! I'm so used to full no way you can freaking jump up. That no problems. Games are right, actually. Yeah. Oi. No, that's not. Oi. What? Oi. Yes. Yo. Oh, hold up. Before you say a single word, I must say you're looking mighty fly. Could just be that sense. Could I'm slowly <laughs> So, take this as a sign of our appreciation. And that's not how it works in Super City. If you rush an alliance, you're bound to get burnt. No time to waste. Head over to the customization machine now and interact with it to equip your new plugin. Also use this machine to customize your character's look, emotes, plugins, surge gauntlet abilities, weapon skins, and starter weapons. And check it out. Up here is where your tickets, R coins, and power tokens are displayed. Earn tickets by playing adventure mode and use them to buy cosmetics for your character and weapons. You can also buy premium items from Gilly's store. A fine establishment, if I do say so myself. These are our coins. They can be purchased from the PlayStation Store. Use them to buy cosmetics or save our coins to buy special and rare items. Oh, and these are power tokens. Earn these, and you can unlock Surge Gauntlet abilities and plugins. Which reminds me, let's head over to the Surge Gauntlet ability menu now. Why don't you use a power token to unlock the Fireball ability? Good job. Now, next, we'll head over to the plugins menu. All those plugin upgrades I mentioned earlier, here's where you can unlock and equip them. Plugins provide passive stat boosts or abilities that can make you more effective. Go ahead, kid. Unlock one now with a power token. And it Ooh, nicely done. Okay, one more thing. Let's check out the weapons menu. This is my favorite part of the tour. In this menu, you can see all the weapons in your arsenal. Oh, and customize their look too. By default, you will start each adventure mode run with the slugger and the light gun. However, completing feats will allow you to unlock other weapons to start runs with. Come back here often to see what new starter weapons you've unlocked and to equip them. Took me a while to crack it, but I managed to program a special color-coded system for weapons, hacks, chests, and items, so you know what kind of quality you're getting. In order from the worst to the best, it goes gray, common, green, uncommon, blue, rare, purple, epic, and gold. Legendary! Look at you, using the customization machine like an old pro. We'll be seeing your name at the top of the leaderboards in no time. 
Way to go, kid. You just unlocked your first Surge Gauntlet ability. Equipping is as simple as interacting with the customization stations downstairs. Anytime you unlock a Surge ability, cosmetic item, or even a weapon tent, these machines will hoot and holler. If you see the marker, it means you've got something shiny and new, ready to be equipped. Look around my arcade. We'll find other arcade gang members that am. Good, right? Like, I'm actually glad that I got this one. Place, 
That's how I like better. Uh, okay, let's just keep playing. Forget. Um, this is the last level I'm doing. Oh, this is actually more scary because this is fire everywhere. Will the fire kill me? I did not know, but we're gonna find that. Oh, yep, yeah, it will. And I got, and just like that, I already got a bit of that. That's good. Oh. 
man, this is like the revolver at full night. I'm, I'm doing montages in this game.
get that. Okay. 